In our first section here, we're going to talk about the implementation of group policy. So our goal is to make sure, if you've never seen it before, that you understand what the components are of group policy, that you know the uh, fundamentals of group policy processing, where we talk about things like inheritance and precedence. To be able to create, edit, and link your group policy objects to the uh, organizational units or groups uh, that you think are appropriate. We'll look at where the uh, central store for administrative templates are and, of course, talk about what a template is supposed to do for us. We'll look at how you can search for specific policy settings in, in uh, GPOs. And then we'll talk about creating a uh, group policy object from a starter group policy object. And so, as you know right now, the GPO stands for the group policy object. So I'm going to keep saying GPO because it's easier all the way throughout this section. All right, let's take a look at um, creating some group policies. We're going to start by making a simple policy to restrict somebody from changing the screensaver uh, timeout. So what I'm saying is, is if I right click here on my desktop, go to personalize, click on screensaver, and uh, say let's change that to 600 minutes and so, say OK, that I don't want that to happen. So after 10 hours of uh, idle time, then it goes on to a screensaver. Well, I just don't want people to play with that number. So what we're going to do is we're going to limit the administrator's account, in fact, everybody's account for the entire domain to keep them from uh, making any changes. And we'll do that through group policy. Now, do be careful anytime you're applying a group policy to an administrator. You could get some unexpected behaviors and some really uh, tough things to, to work yourself out of. So don't paint yourself into a corner by limiting the administrator account. Be careful of it. But I'm logged in that way, so we're going to give it a shot. I've gone to the administrative tools and I'm going to go to my group policy management. And in my group policy management, I'm going to uh, come down here to the Contoso domain rather than any organizational unit. I have this default domain policy that I want to work with. I'm going to right click it and go to edit. And I so said I want to uh, deal with the screensaver for the users. Because it's the users, I'm going to go down here to user configuration. Underneath policies, I know that it's an administrative template. That's where I'm going to make registry settings. But the problem is, is I don't know where in this big mess of options screensavers are going to be. Well, actually, I guess I do know, but we'll pretend I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it now and use this new filter options. Under the filter options, I'm going to come over here and enable the keywords uh, filters. You can see conveniently I've got screensaver in there from, uh, from a previous example. I'm going to do an exact match that I want to look for exactly those words. And then I'm going to click on the OK button. And what I have left now is all of the pieces of the administrative templates, as you can see, that have anything to do with screensavers. So I'm going to click on the display uh, for the control panel. I see the screensaver timeout. And notice that it says here is a requirement. It tells me how much uh, user auto time must elapse before it goes. It says when configured, the idle time can be set anywhere from uh, one second to a maximum of uh, 24 hours. And if set to zero, it will never start. And it says the setting is uh, right now uh, not set. It, it, so it is uh, neither enabled or disabled. So that's uh, basically telling me there is no policy. So I'm going to double click this. And we're going to enable this. And we're going to set it for uh, 50 minutes, or, or uh, I'm sorry, not seconds, 900 seconds, we'll leave it just as it was. And I'm going to click uh, on the OK. So now I have my state. Now if I wanted to, uh, you could look at some of these other ones, the password protect, executable name, you know, even the screensaver. If I double click the screensaver, uh, it tells me whether or not I even get to have it or not. So um, just a lot of options here, but now that I've got that set, I'm going to um, pretty much say I'm done with my group policy. I've made my setting. I'm happy with it. I'm going to exit out of this screen. I know that I've got that uh, set up on this machine. Uh, in fact, if I come back and edit it again, we could probably move our way forward here under policies and, uh, oops, the administrative templates to go take a look at those uh, same things under the display. So again, screensaver, there it is. It's enabled. Screensaver timeout. So now, but I've got that policy. I'm going to right click on this, go to personalize. I'm going to go to my screensaver. It still says 600 minutes and I'm going to say 522 minutes now and I was able to make my change. All right, so let me minimize this. What was the problem there? The problem is, is that group policies don't take effect immediately. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my command line, clear the screen, CLS, and we're going to try typing uh, GP update, and we're going to forcibly force this thing to go boot and log off. Oh, we're going to kill my account. We're going to force this thing to go. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, all of the uh, policies are updated. It's going to log me off. And, uh, and it didn't like the uh, command that I typed in there for my GP update here. Let me make sure that I have everything uh, spelt correctly. I guess if I called it update instead of udate, we might get a little uh, better use of it. All right, so uh, kind of forcing uh, the, the hand here, if you, as you would say, to make this take place. And then we'll uh, come back and take a look and, and see if uh, when it's done, user policy updates completed. Okay, so this says that it, uh, that it should be done. That I forcibly have added that to this domain. So I'm going to come over here and uh, with my screensaver account and hey, look at that. It's grayed out. It's set for 900 uh, seconds. That's 15 minutes. There's nothing I can do about it. And I'm the administrator. And the cool part is, even as the administrator, I, I can't overcome it. I have to go back and disable that policy to fix it. It's pretty well a done deal. So that was uh, the group policy. I showed it to you at the domain level. Obviously, it would be scoped for everybody in the domain. So no matter who logs in or what computer they log in in that domain, they won't be able to change the screensaver or any of the other things that you put in.